Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for your what do they what is their true feelings for you right now i want to thank you guys so much for liking sharing subscribing and thank you to my members i really appreciate all of your support and if you guys would like a live personal reading with me go to my website jenniferwalkers.com or check out the description box below if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories you can check out my second youtube channel jwz mysteries and all the information is in the description box below Oh, something about waiting, waiting for the right time. Okay, so let's see what that's about. So first we're going to be talking about how does your love interest feel about you? Then we're gonna be talking about what did they want from the connection and also some advice. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. How does Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does Cancer's love interest feel about Cancer's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's lay down these cards here. We got the King of Pentacles energy as the first card. So someone is standing tall and they're like, you know what, this person's like, you're the best decision for me when it comes to money, family, children, and long term. You're the most stable for me. From my life experience. All right, Cancer, let's move this out of the way. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Let's clarify what this King of Pentacles is about. How does Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they're about, how does Cancer's love interest feel about Cancer's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Something that you already know about or they want to give you some kind of knowledge about this with the book card energy. They're trying to find out, are you the best decision for me? Are you the most stable decision for me? All right. How does Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Cancer's love interest feel about Cancer's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so, so far I can see this person's like, you're the most stable for me, you know, for the long term. And I, I know that I really do want to make an effort here because I do feel like you're worth putting the effort into. So, but let's get more information. How does Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for? The one they want to know about. How does Cancer's Love Interest feel about Cancer romantically? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's get more information here. So they're questioning something. There's the book again. The book is saying, okay, I'm trying to be an open book, but I, I'm trying to figure out why. Why is it like this? Why is it like this? Okay, what's that about? see this family situation, this money situation, this long-term situation. We see house and family, home, something stable. They feel like something is happening all of a sudden. And there's some regrets here. Am I running out of time? Is this a never-ending story? Why is the timing not right? Why? I know they're the best decision for me. Why isn't the timing right? I see all these hopeful signs with us. I feel like there's a destiny here. I'm getting some kind of spiritual confirmation. Something is coming to light. I just want a sigh of relief. I hear birds really chirping really strongly out there. So definitely this person wants to have a conversation for sure. They keep on chirping, chirping, chirping. I want to bring things into balance. I can't stop thinking about them. I can't get them off my mind. I'm so hopeful. I'm so hopeful that I can bring things into balance. And I keep asking myself, why? Why do I keep doing this? Why does it happen this way? Why are things coming together this way, not that way? How can I hold on to them 
How can I keep them all to myself? Yeah, it's like almost like they feel like there's barriers here. Like someone's keeping them from you or you're keeping something's standing in their way. Some kind of restrictions here. Even those four of pentacles saying they want to hold on to you. I just get the sense there's some kind of restrictions here or something around house or family or home. Okay, so let's see what that's about. I want to reunite. I want to communicate. See, I told you guys that they want to communicate. I've been thinking about it very strongly. I've been really, really thinking about it. I know they're so attractive and that they have options. They're very sexy, very attractive. They can have anyone they want. I just want to surprise them. I want to show up and surprise them because I feel so bad about what's happened. I have so much regrets in this connection. I keep thinking about all the unhealthy thoughts that I have about the past, and I want them to forgive me. I want to heal from this situation. I want some kind of massive change to happen here. Oh man, I just want things to change, and I want things to happen fast, but it just doesn't seem like it's happening fast enough. I don't even think they're going to accept what I have to offer here. Because they're not even dealing with me. They're avoiding me. I feel like they're avoiding me. And it's like, I've, I'm going to try to do something for them. I'm going to try to give them some kind of support. I'm going to try to come closer to see if they accept what I have to offer. I'm going to show up. I'm going to give them something. I want to send them some kind of message or package. When the timing is right, when I feel like things are going to align for me and that luck will be on my side and I'll have the chance to really fix this. Because I really want to bring peace to the situation. I really want to resolve this. Yeah, we see a bird again. See, a bird here is, is wanting to have a conversation and they're presenting a gift here. And there's a hope that there could be potential here. And it's like they don't feel like things are changing fast enough. Like they feel like things are kind of going slow because of stuff to do with the past. And it's like, this is kind of like stopping the change. I've really contemplated my emotions. I want to hold on to them. I want love and devotion. I've gotten some advice. I just feel so destructive right now. I almost, okay, so they feel like, they may feel even feel like they want to like, just do something destructive, maybe hang out with friends, maybe even send you a, like a, you know how like you go out drinking and then you kind of send your person like a drunk text or like a give them a phone call out the blue just because you're just feeling kind of sad. That's like kind of the energy there. This is lonely energy within this person, the sense of isolation or separation here. I want to open up about my emotions. I want to be loyal to them. I want to share my emotions with them. So it's like they feel like if they, if they could just do that <laughs> in, in a destructive way, they, they could just kind of like tell you exactly what's going on with them. They reveal their heart, open their heart to open things up. Because they don't know how to open things up right now. Yeah, they want to communicate again. You're seeing a lot of communication cards. They're trying to figure out a way to kind of draw you in without making you notice that they're drawing you in, okay? And it's like they're going to use something to try to draw you in. And, uh, and then it's going to be like, all right, I'll be able to put out this. Like, I feel like, you know, here we got this, this water here. And it's like they're trying, they're, you know, they're trying to attract this bee here with this flower. And it's like, if I could just attract them, I can, I can fix this. I can work this out. Yeah, we see there's this depression kind of energy, sad kind of energy there. Because they're like, oh my God, what did I do? Like, I know that they're the best decision for me. I know it. For, you know, from the experience that I've had, you know, I just know that they're the best decision for me. You know, maybe I can get them to kind of come out and socialize and hang out. You know, maybe I can get some help here to bring this together. Okay, let's keep going here. So far, they're asking the question, why? Why did this happen, right? 
I feel so much regret. I keep thinking about them. I can't stop thinking about them. I've been thinking about them. I have thoughts and plans about how to change this, but it's not changing fast enough. Maybe I need to present something to them to bring some kind of peace offering. Because um, I want to open up and I want to be loyal to them and I want the opportunity to hang out, spend time together, to resolve this, to gain some kind of support around this. I know there's so much potential in our connection, Ace of Pentacles energy. There's so much potential here. We see this ending, stopping, completion. I'm at a crossroads. And I want to open up and talk to them about my feelings. I want to share with them about how much I love them, how much I feel for them. I just want to take off this mask and stop hiding here. Okay, let's bring it all together. I want to make the effort. I want to do something sudden to bring things into balance. I want to communicate, give you a letter, message, documents about my regrets. When the timing is right, I, this isolation, this separation, this loneliness, I know you're the best decision for me, but I'm at a crossroads about what to do. I'm trying to find out about this house, this home, this family situation so I can have a sigh of relief and have a reunion. I'm gonna surprise you with some kind of letter, message, document, just show up. Um, it looks like they're gonna to try to go and have some help here or do something destructive because they're, they're, they're depressed here and they want this to end. In hindsight now, I know that you're the best decision. We see this family situation as hopeful. I want to hold on to you. I know that you're very attractive, very sexy. Are you going to accept what I have to offer here? I want this love and devotion, and I want to talk with you about this huge potential that we have. Okay, so let's move this out of the way, and let's take a look at what they want. What do they want? Now they, they, I, know, I know how they feel, but what are their, their, what are their plans? What are they trying to do here? What is Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? What does Cancer's love interest want from this connection romantically? What do they want from this connection romantically? What are they trying to do here? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Wow, they're going to try to jump through hoops here uh, to take a passionate action towards you with the Knight of Wands energy. They're going to make some kind of decision. They're hoping that you talk to them because they're at a crossroads. So they're going to jump through some hoops here to try to get your attention to do something that, you know, something fun, something that's going to just really draw your attention to them so that a decision can be made because there seems to be some indecisions. This person's heartbroken and sad, and they want to make you happy, sun card energy. And they're going to try to do some rom romantic gestures towards you, take some romantic gestures, some actions of love towards you. Okay. So you can see, they're going to take an action to make a choice, to make a choice. Uh, because of this hurt and pain, happiness, joyful energy, something that's going to make you happy and joyful, and we see an action of love. Okay, so let's get more information here for more clarity. What is Cancer's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they know about. What is Cancer's love interest? What do they, what do they want from this connection romantically? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So there's concerns about some kind of player energy, right? They're going to try to be charming, okay? They're going to take some passionate actions here, okay? Because they're anxious about this choice. They're very strongly addicted and concerned that you may be at a crossroads or there may be some indecisions. Yep, there we got crossroads. This person is concerned that there's going to be some issues here with you. And they, this is what their intuition is telling them. That's what their gut feeling is telling them. They're going to try to charm you, win you over. And, you know, something's going to be going on between the lines there. Because they, they, they feel like there's a destiny, a spiritual connection here. And they feel like when the timing is right, they're hoping that there's going to be some kind of divine intervention and that they can have enough liquid courage to kind of do something here, uh, to communicate. So obviously, again, we, they do want to communicate. Okay, so 
Let's move this out of the way and let's get you guys some advice. Answers when it comes to their love connection for their highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them. How many cards do you need to see? Show me the cards I need. Two. See. Okay, so we see that the advice is saying to focus on stability, stableness, okay, long term. Get ready to be massively shocked and surprised to get what you want. Nine of Cups energy, okay. We see ending of a situation, stopping, ending, completion of a situation. You can assert your personal power. Actually, you have more power in this situation than what you realize. We see there's a family situation long term here. You can bring things into balance, actually. If you're really resilient, you, you, know, you can definitely do something here with this relationship. So focus on peace and harmony. Pay attention to the signs. There are some things to navigate here, of course. You don't want to keep going around in circles. You have a lot of possibility here, though. But, you know, be cautious here. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs. Put your energy into what your line in the sand is, okay? What do you want out of this connection? And be patient and be cautious. At the bottom of the deck is saying, follow your heart. Luck is on your side. You can achieve what you want here, but you're going to have to overcome some obstacles and challenges here in this opportunity. All right, my beautiful Cancers, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in another date or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon. Also, my beautiful darlings, there are multiple uh, readings for you to watch right now. I got the weeklies up, the monthlies, all up and available for you guys to watch right now. And also, if this resonates with you, if you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.